Hi guys, Classified back here to present another video review for our CC reviews. Today we will be looking at the Thermaltake Soprano DX mid tower size case. The Thermaltake Soprano DX comes in four different versions. It comes in black with or without the window and in silver with or without the window. I'll be reviewing the version with the glossy black finish without the window. The case is made mostly out of steel and has some plastic parts like the front bezel and has a stylish aluminum front door. On the front door behind this there is a 10cm long blue CCFL that gives a very very elegant lighting on this case. The front panel reveals four five and a quarter inch drive base, two three and a half inch external drive base, power button reset button, hard drive activity LED, power LED and here on the bottom there is a 140 millimeter intake which is a special design to provide more airflow so you can keep your computer components cooler. The front panel can be opened even further and here you can install the 5 and quarter inch devices and here the three and a half inch devices. Also note that there is a removable dust filter for the 140 millimeter fan. Note that both front and side panel can be locked with these two keys. This can be very useful on LAN events if you want to prevent anyone from intruding your computer or changing something inside. Of your computer. On top of the case the I.O. ports can be found. There are two USB 2 ports, headphone jack, microphone jack and external serial ADA port. The top I.O. ports can be closed like this. On the back of the case there is room for one 120 mm fan. Motherboard I.O. shield plates is included. There is a total of 7 PCI Express expansion slots. A standard ATX power supply can be fitted on top of the case. And the left side panel is fastened with two of these rather thick thumb screws. While the right side panel is fastened with two regular screws. Now let's take a closer look at the side panel of this case. Like I said in my version there is no window installed but you can install an optional 92mm fan here to pr improve the cooling for a CPU and here there are some VJ vents. The side panel can be opened easily with these two buttons. You press them like this and you open the side panel. On the right side panel there is no window. This case fits full ATX and micro ATX motherboards. All the drive base are toolless designed and there is a removable hard drive cage. You just remove this thumb screw here. Pull this lever down. Just slide it out like this take a look at the grommets here they are to prevent vibration of your hard drives a total of five hard drives can be installed in this case here you can see the standard 140 millimeter fan here you can see the cables that come from the IO ports on top this is for the delivered CCFL in the front panel here are some uh, wires from the front panel like uh, power switch power LED and this is from the 140 millimeter here in front. Note that this is not the standard included fan. This case fits up to 12.2 inch graphic cards if the hard drive cage is removed. The card holder upgrade kit is optional. Okay I think the Thermaltake Soprano DX has a lot of very nice features like the removable hard drive cage and the tools design which make installing stuff a lot more easier. I also like the blue CCFL and the aluminium front door. 
but I don't like the use of the plastic in the front panel. It makes it look a bit cheap to me. I also like the dust filter which is removable and keeps a lot of dust out of your case. This saves you a lot of work cleaning out dust out of your case. So, after all, I give this case a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And until next time, take care. Class fab out.